one. Just one. Slow day at the car boot? Then you need the Ads Experience hoodie. This hoodie is guaranteed to get you the goods. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So this is going to be a charity shop. Picked a few, picked a few bits up from a couple of charity shop trips over the last few days. And I realised I didn't share them with you at all on a video. I didn't do a vlog on the day or anything like that. So I thought what I would do is I would just combine them together and do kind of a small haul video. I think I've got maybe eight, nine items, something like that. Well, I'll actually count them quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about I think about eight. So yeah, without further ado, we shall get on with this and I, I will share with you the first item. So first up is this Dunelm uh, blue and white striped monkey. I don't know whether it's their kind of promotional mascot or something i really haven't a clue um but it says dunelm on the back there now i saw this guy in the charity shop and i thought i recognize that guy i don't know why but i recognize this uh, this monkey from somewhere so i've got it down off the shelf and i realized that it was dunelm and i thought well i don't recognize it from that but i thought i'm gonna have a search of it anyway and i could only see one other one on completing solds and it wasn't the same blue and white as this one it was a dunelm one um, but it was like a uh, pink one or something like that. I can't quite remember because it was a couple of days ago now what the exact price it sold for on completing sales, but I think it was on auction and I, I think it was around that five to eight pound. So I thought to myself, you know what? I might be able to squeeze a tenner out of this guy. I paid two quid. At, the tag's already come off actually, but um, I paid two quid for this guy. So I thought, yeah, you know what? I'll take a punt on it. It's not normally something I would take a punt on because I would think, yeah, it's probably not worth it. But yeah, I just felt compelled to take a punt on that one. So I'll stick it on for a tenner, see what happens. If it sells, brilliant. If I have to come down, then I'll come down. Or if I have to auction it off or anything like that, then I will do that and just, just get rid of it, really. But it's always worth just taking a punt on something at the end of the day, uh, especially if it's fairly cheap as well, and just seeing how it goes for you, really. So, yeah, that's that one there. So, next, we've got this Bursley uh, little sort of short vase here. It's got little embellishments here. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that. There's little dots, and they're embellished. And I think even the, the design of the uh, leaves as well is embellished. Really, really nice. Uh, nice little item. Paid for... Three pound for this one, I think. No, two pound for this one, and then three pound for the other one that I'm going to show you. But yeah, nice little item. Don't really know what I'm going to go on price. I just thought I'd take a punt on it. Guess I'd probably go about fifteen to twenty pounds, something like that. Um, you know, if I go twenty quid, I might end up having to come back to fifteen quid. Um, but yeah, I think I go around that on it. Nice little item, and uh, yeah, worth a couple of quid anyway. So uh, pretty happy with that one. Next, I may as well do some sealed stuff. So we've got this Mrs. Brown's Boys Big Box uh, Big Box Series 1 to 3. Brand new and sealed, of course. I'm going to send this into Amazon. Paid two quid for it, and I'm looking about 12 quid, something like that. So nothing spectacular, but I thought I would pick it up anyway for that and just get a little bit of profit out of it. So, yeah, that's that one there. Next, again, same story, really. Paid two quid. Again, it's going to be around that 12 quid. I think it was like 11 99 something like that. Michael, Pal Michael Palin's New Europe. Uh, again, brand new and sealed. So, yeah, a little bit of profit on that anyway. Now, I did kind of have a little bit of a weak moment. As most of you will be aware, I don't generally do anything below a tenner in my eBay store. Very, very rarely. Sometimes I might do the odd auction for 4 99 or 2 99 or whatever if I just want to clear it off. Um, but very rarely these days I do anything less than a tenner. I'm even trying to up that and, and try mainly to put things on for 12 99 14 99 opposed to even a tenner. Um, so yeah, I had a bit of a weak moment with this one. I paid a pound for it. It's brand new and sealed, yes, no game. I reckon I'll probably get about eight or nine quid for it rather than a tenner. Um, but I just couldn't help myself. I was in the charity shop. It was there. It was a quid. And I thought, I just can't help myself but pick it up. I was thinking I might send it into Amazon. But the problem is, at eight or nine pound, the fees would probably eat up loads of that anyway. So I'm probably just best putting it on eBay, to be honest. So, yeah. Uh, 
maybe eight or nine quid, something like that. It might go for more on eBay. I don't know. It might be more. I might be able to squeeze a tenner out of it or something. Um, but yeah, a little bit of a weak moment on that one. But I just couldn't help myself but pick it up. Next, Midsummer Murders uh, box set. Now, I would have been sending this to Amazon FBA, but I don't know whether you can hear that. It's got a loose DVD in there, and I don't think I'm going to be able to line it up because it's a box set and not a single case uh, DVD. So I've decided I'll just sell it. Well, I already have listed this actually on eBay, um, and I've obviously mentioned the fact that there's a loose DVD in there. I think on Amazon I would have been getting back like 40 or 50 quid or something. Um, but on eBay, I think I priced it at maybe 30, something like that. Um, I paid 3.99, I think it was for this one. 2.99 or 3.99, but I'm going to go 3.99 just in case it was. Uh, just go for the higher one there anyway. So yeah, 3.99 on that one, hopefully into 30 quid. Still happy with that, but it's a shame that the, the disc is... Uh, not obviously in its correct place because I would have been able to send it to Amazon and get a little bit more. I know some pe people may think, well, you may as well have sent it to Amazon anyway and describe the fact that the disc was loose and stuff. I just don't like doing that. I don't think I've ever done it in the past because I just, I don't like... Amazon customers are so much more strict um, than eBay customers. They like things to be in really, really good condition, etc. So even if I mentioned it, I'd feel as if maybe the customer, I'm going to get myself into a situation where they're going to return it or something anyway. So I just like doing things like that on eBay and uh, controlling it a little bit more, controlling the situation a little bit more. So yeah, that's that one there anyway. So next pottery item, this one cost me £3. It's kind of like a, I suppose it's almost like a beige uh, vase. It's fairly standard to be honest, but I did look at the name and it's Royal Cauldron and I've just actually had one of their, um, one of their bowls. It was like an orangey one. I, well, I say just, it was about a month or two ago now, probably a couple of months ago now. Um, but I did have one of them and I think I've got that priced at 30 quid or something. So I saw this in the charity shop for three pound and I thought, yeah, okay, it is a very plain standard vase. But I reckon I could get 15, 20 quid, something like that for this one, uh, with it being this Royal Cauldron. So, yeah, I thought I'd pick it out for three quid, and hopefully I'll get about 15 to 20 on that one. These things always do take a while to go, or a lot of them can take a while to go. Some pottery items can go pretty quick, but certain things like this can take a little bit longer to go. But I don't mind waiting on it, and I'm just happy for someone to come along at some point and just pick it off whenever, really. So, yeah, that's that one there. So, finally, we've got this brand new and sealed Only Fools and Horses DVD board game. Now, I won't be sending this to Amazon again. The rank is a little bit too high for me. I can't remember the exact rank, but I know it was definitely over 250,000 in toys. Might have been 300,000, something like that. I generally like to stick to below 100,000 just to get a little bit of a quicker turnover. I don't want to be waiting 12 months. You know, I don't want I don't want to have things stuck up at the, at the warehouse for 12 months and be incurring loads of fees on them. So I generally stick to under 100,000 and then I can get a fair turnover on them and I'm not incurring loads and loads of fees. Um, so yeah, I paid four quid for this. It's going to go on eBay instead of Amazon. I'm going to take a little bit of a whack down on price because I think this was around 30 quid. I think it was around 30 quid on Amazon, something like that anyway. I'm probably going to be 20 quid, something like that on eBay. I could probably push a little bit higher if I wanted to wait a while for the sale, but 20 quid seems to be like the maximum that most people are getting for these brand new and sealed at the moment. So I might go 25 and see if I can push it a little bit, considering I paid 4 quid for it. Or I might just go for 20 quid and hopefully after a few weeks someone will pick it off for, uh, from me. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. It's a shame about the rank on Amazon though because I would have liked to send it to Amazon. It's just a nice, easy uh, to deal with item that would be perfect for Amazon. But it's, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame about the rank. But yeah, anyway, I will leave it there for this one guys. That is the final item as I mentioned. Um, so that being said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give it a like if you did like the whole video. Just a fair short one this one i'm trying to keep it as short as i can and i will be back very soon with another video whole video sales update vlog i don't know what's going to be next but i'm sure there'll be another one very soon so yeah i will see you in the next one guys so i'll see you very soon i'll give you what i got the alcohol of that is flowing wild so grab yourself a